What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you how to detect certain parts of the body when shooting an object. So let me quickly demonstrate what I have built here. I have this uh, funny looking alien and right now I have different colored particle systems play based on what I hit. So left arm, let's see, plays a red particle system, body, blue, head I believe is white, and right arm, pink. All right, so let me show you how this is done. It's actually pretty simple. All right, so there are a couple ways to do this. In this video, we're gonna go over the send message function. All right, so here I have an automatic gun script that the Thompson submachine gun is using. Uh, I'm not gonna go over the entire script. Uh, there's a, this actually came from a Brackey's video. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, a lot of great content on that channel. Uh, so if you scroll down here to where the actual shooting occurs, where we send the raycast out, which is essentially the, uh, the bullet, when we hit an object, we want to write hit.transform send message. And then in the brackets, you can write anything here. It doesn't really, really matter. Um, here I just wrote detected. Uh, so essentially what this does is the object that the raycast hits, um, a message is sent to it basically just saying you, you've been hit by this raycast. Um, so now if we go back into the project. So in this case, we're shooting the alien here, right? So you want to have a script to receive that message. Um, so I have this script here, alien health main. And if you see here, I have a method called detected. And that's the important thing here is you want to make sure whatever you call this, matches up with the uh, method that you create otherwise it won't it won't uh, detect so I wrote a method here public void detected right now this is one script it's going to be attached to the left arm it's going to be attached to the right arm it's going to be attached to the head and then it's going to be attached to the body Yep. See. So now what you want to do is add a tag for each part of the body. So here we have a head tag for the left arm, call it left arm. For right arm, we call it right arm. And then body, we call it body. Now going back to that script, right? Under the detected uh, method, we we want to write if transform.tag so if the tag of the object equals head if the transform.tag uh, tag of the object equals left arm if the tag of the object equals right arm tag of the object equals body um, we want it to perform a certain action so again right here I just have a particle system set up where if the object that picks up the message sent has a tag of head it's gonna play um, a specific particle system which I have defined up here and then so on and so forth alright now the thing here is if you send a message and you leave it just how I have it here you will get a error message for any object hit that does not have a script containing this detected method. So let me show you exactly um, what that means. Pick up the sub console here. All right. And you see that in the bottom left, I keep getting this uh, error message saying uh, send message detected has no receiver. That's because the object that I'm shooting doesn't have a uh, script containing this uh, method but now if you shoot the body it picks that up arm okay so a way around this or or to uh, fix this uh, in better words write an if statement ok 
okay? So you say if the object hit has a tag of left arm, if a if the object hit has a tag of right arm, head or body, then you send a message. Um, okay, so it's only going to send a message when those specific body parts are hit. So if we go back, let's see. Okay. Got some machine guns. Let's see. Perfect. So no error message, and then it will still work. Boom. If we hit the body. Okay. So now let's say, again, I did this um, with just a particle system um, in place. But let's say you want to do this with a health system. Um, I have a very simple uh, setup here. What you can do is create another script, okay? On this one, where is Alien Health? Yeah, I called it uh, Alien Health Total. So you make a script for your object's health, all right? And then you want to attach it to the parent object. See here, I have Alien Health Total. And then, all right, so in the Alien Health Total script, you want to write a public float for the object's health. Uh, you can either define it here or just set it in the inspector. And then you want to scroll down and write a method for each body part that's going to deal damage. Um, so here I have written uh, public void head damage, public void body damage, and then public void arm damage. And that's just going to be for both uh, the left and right arm. Uh, so inside the head damage, I have a very simple um, health depletion line. I have alien health equals alien health minus 50. So head damage does 50, uh, body damage minus 25, and then arm damage minus 10. So now you want to go back into the uh, hit by ray script and scroll down to where the ray is detected. And inside each um, if statement, write the appropriate um, method. So I have it written here. Let me just open it up. All right. So inside the uh, if transform dot tag equals head, I have a line here uh, that reads alien health total script. All right. So I'm referencing this script and then dot and I'm writing out the method. So if transform dot tag equals head alien health script deal de deal head damage and then what is it 50 right and then same thing for the left arm same thing for the right arm and same thing for the body right alien health total script dot arm damage alien health total script dot arm damage and alien health total script dot body damage okay all right so if we go back into the project here um, I have the main parent uh, selected. Uh, you can see this alien health total script. I have the alien health set to 100. So now let's test and see if this works. So I'm going to shoot the head. Boom, did 50. Another 50. Set to 0. Back. Let's see. Left arm. Okay, it's doing 10. Other side. Perfect. And then body, I think, was 25, right? Yep. Perfect. So as you can see, everything works. Okay. All right, and uh, just a quick side note here. If we go back into the alien health total script, uh, if you look at the update method, I have an if statement written here that reads, if alien health is less than or equal to zero, um, alien health equals zero. Uh, this is good to have. It'll just stop the numbers from going below zero. Obviously, in a game, we don't want that. Um, so let me show you how that looks. All right. So headshot, 50, zero. So it's still picking up damage when I shoot it, even though it's at zero. But because I have that 
if statement written, the alien health will not go below zero. I hope that makes sense. All right, and that is how to detect certain parts of the body when shooting an object. Uh, if this video helped you in any way, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more Packer Games content, be sure to subscribe. Thank you.